and welcome to another edition of Western Slope Vibe. You're here today with myself, Michelle Roberts, of Veterans Housing Network, and behind the camera is Isabel Otis with Isabel Otis Media. I'm very excited to be here today. We're at the Technical College of the Rockies, nestled right in between Delta and Montrose. It's a beautiful day. Let's go exploring. Hi, I'm Randall Palmer. I'm the director here at the Technical College of the Rockies. We're located in between Delta, Colorado and Montrose, Colorado. We have a campus in Gunnison. We also have another campus that we serve in Montrose, Colorado. We have concurrent enrollment, so the students who are at high school that are looking at continuing their education beyond high school, but we also provide the credit that they receive at the high school along with the credentialing that we offer here, along with the post-secondary students, those students who have already graduated from high school, that are looking to continue their education and receive some kind of accreditation so that they can go and exchange that certificate for money. So we have automotive, we have cosmetology, we have barbering, we have CNA, we have MA medical assistant, um, we also have EMT, and we just started the construction trades. So that's helping those students really get into what it means to be on site. Uh, we also do the I I industry trades. So like if you had a phlebotomy and you needed something like that, those are shorter courses within the current courses that we offer. Here's what I like about area technical colleges. Everything that we're teaching them, they're going to use. You don't have that in the back of the room. When am I ever going to need this? Is this going to be on the test? So the motivation for our students is that they own their education. They understand that we're going to use this. So you couple that uh, uh, talent that they bring and we merge that with the skill set, then they leave here with something that is tangible. And now they have an understanding of what they're doing in class relates so specifically to them to be able to go out and earn a job and be that productive contributing citizen wherever they're gonna land. One of the ways we give back to the community, one, is that we provide those kinds of skill sets that students are looking for so that they can actually be a contributing member. Area technical colleges focus on their specific credentialing piece. So you would think maybe a community college, you're going to have some ramp up classes in order for you to get that certification or to get that accreditation. We have the opportunity to skip that and look at just the things that you're going to need in order to perform that service. When you come in to see the lab where the students learn, it's hands-on, so not only are they learning in the classroom, but they're actually doing it in the salon that we provided for them. So it's a real life experience. Here's what's unique and what we also offer. One of the things that all of our teachers have is a passion to teach. So we look at the what we call the mission is mission over money. So we are now in our TCR salon. So behind me here is kind of where they check in. Um, people from the community can come in and get haircuts or any services. We, lot, we offer lots of services here. Um, our haircuts are always free. So if you need a haircut, give us a call. We can do that. And we'll head back to the area where all the magic happens. So our cosmetology program is a one-year program if you're post-secondary. If you do um, come as a high school student, it becomes a two-year program just depending on what that start date looks for, like for you. But within this uh, salon, we have an esthetician program and nail tech program. Both of those programs are one semester. We offer them twice a year. Um, cosmetology is a year, and of course the barbering is a year. It's small, it's not like Yeah, it's more intimate. Movie. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's a lot more intimate, and you get to know people. <laughs> I do know this is the biggest esthetician class we've ever had at the yeah. school, but it's also nice because I know I have so many different connections in my field of work right, once we right. get our license. Exactly. So it's nice to be like, hey, I don't do this, but, but my girlfriend do. who went yeah. to school with me, she specializes in this. So like, I, we can always refer clients. Right. It's a good community in school as opposed to even more out of school. So, yep. so my name is Sergio Antione. I am the barber instructor here at TCR. Uh, our program is only a few years old, but we've grown immensely. That's why we have a new barbering area. Uh, we got to have too many students in one area, so we added this shop. It's still being finished, but 
will be in here but hopefully by November. Uh, I am an alumni here, as are the other two instructors that work here. We are now in our automotive shop, so students can come here when they are in high school. So if you're in high school and you join our automotive program, it becomes a two-year program. But after the first year, our first program is maintenance and light repair, and then our second year is the automotive technician. So something unique about our program is that people can bring their cars in, students can bring their cars in and work on them. Um, we have two classrooms here, and it's a full automotive shop. Something great that we're just launching is our new construction program. So we've partnered with Habitat for Humanity of the San Juans and Delta County. So our students, you can see them back here working. They're learning to do all sorts of things. So lots more to come on this program, but we are super excited for the partnerships we have in the community about this program. Uh, I'm Jaden Borgman. Um, I'm an instructor for the drafting program here, and um, we've got three different programs. We've got the civil architecture and mechanical drafting. Um, the civil deals mostly with uh, roads, kind of subdivisions, um, stuff like that, land layout. Uh, architecture is all of your buildings, designing houses, uh, big skyscrapers, stuff like that, you know. Um, and the mechanical is pretty much everything else. Ranges from every, anything from car engines to chairs. So there's a lot of different stuff that we can do here. Okay, so we are in our Firefighter One classroom. This is a one semester program. Um, we really help out the community with just teaching students about fire safety. When we go out back, you'll be able to see the burn house and all of that, but we've partnered with all the local fire departments and we teach them what they need to know about fire. We are standing in front of our Firefighter One burn house. So they actually catch this on fire and we teach our cadets how to go through it safely and clear a building, things like that. Back behind there, you'll see a white building. That is our shoot house for our police academy. That's where they go in and can do scenarios with instructors. And kind of off to the right is our actual shooting range. So we have all of our local agencies that come out and use the shooting range to qualify. So it's a good partnership in the community for sure. So just a little bit about our law enforcement academy. We um, partner with all the local agencies around here. A lot of those agencies will send their um, employees here. So most of our instructors for law enforcement are with local agencies. Um, we'll kind of take a little bit of tour. You saw the classroom. This room over here is kind of their training room. They do different things. We'll see our um, shoot house and our shooting range outside and then we have kind of a compound where all the police cars are so it's a one semester program we offer it twice a year it's financial aid eligible and like I said most people try to get sponsored coming through behind me is we kind of call it kind of our police academy compound this is where we keep all of our police cars that's where we house them so it's locked up behind here um, is just a house it doesn't have power or anything to it. This is just where we set up scenarios. So we'll set up uh, just different scenarios so our cadets can come in and investigate and kind of see how that looks for their training. Hi, I'm Julia Schlosser. I'm the coordinator and instructor for the massage therapy program here at the Technical College of the Rockies. Our program is a 622 and a half hour program, 32 credits. We prepare our students for a successful and sustainable career um, performing therapeutic massage in a variety of settings. Students can go work in health clinics, uh, chiropractic offices, wellness spas, uh, resorts, hotels that offer massage therapy. They can, they're also prepared to work as private practitioners. Um, hi, my name is Paula Trickle. I'm the Medical Assistant Program Coordinator here at Technical College of the Rockies. Um, right now we are standing in the um, MA classroom slash lab. Um, it's really awesome this year we're able to bring the program not just here on our Delta campus but also to Montrose and Gunnison. Um, our program is open to um, high school students and post-secondary students which um, is pretty great. It's also financial aid eligible so that's a plus. Um, 
with this program, um, it makes us a little unique because we love to give back to the community. Um, we really promote that being in the healthcare field. Um, so my students actually a week into class and we have already volunteered um, for Delta Health Fair. We go this weekend um, and we're doing Delta Health Fair again as well as Montrose um, Regional Health Fair. Um, so it's really awesome. Um, the students are getting some hours and some great experience doing that. My name is Teresa T. Baker. I am a registered nurse and the CNA program coordinator here at Technical College of the Rockies. We are standing in the CNA classroom. We have a program in Gunnison that is set up exactly like this with everything that they'll need to finish and get their CNA through the State Board of Nursing. Um, last year we graduated over 70 CNAs that went into our community to help with this extensive shortage in the healthcare field. So our CNAs will be able to work beside RNs, physicians, LPNs and all elements of the healthcare team when they leave here, they'll be fully ready for that. So hey, that's a little bit about Technical College of the Rockies. We're affectionately known as the TCR, but I really welcome you to give us a call, find our website, find our Facebook page, and also follow us on Instagram. There's a lot of information on there that is able for you to able to really manipulate and understand more about what we offer here, than, more than what I can share with you. Holy cow, I'm so excited to have learned everything they do here at the Technical College of the Rockies. Free haircuts, I know where I'm sending my husband instead of me doing it from now on. But seriously, the programs here are amazing. The people were amazing, the students are especially amazing. And I really love what they're doing for our community. Our Western Slope is really pulled together with this video series and I thank everyone that's joining us and participating in this. Be sure to keep recommending your favorite businesses right there and look forward to meeting you out in the community.